Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Gameplays edition of Metopia Daytime here on Game Boy TV. We are helping out a disco cat, uh, and uh, she is not with our party currently, but we are doing this uh, quest for her to clear out some monsters over in the Seaside Grotto, which has uh, changed to a different layout, one in which we had a big boulder split the party in two, and that's why you see a rather half-empty uh, inn uh, currently. We have 86 game tickets, 28 pieces of grub, and this looks like it's not a wheel that I would want to spend on, spend any tickets on, because HP Banana is at 10. We are going to set out. Let's do one lineup change to the party. Get rid of Mimi and bring in Anya. So we had a couple of a uh, couple of uh, nice battles. One that provided us with a lot of uh, experience points. Wait, look. Hey, Kristen. I'm so glad you're okay. Alright, the party was reunited. Now back at the inn. Okay. Jenny and Bust, and Chan Chan and Dawn. Looks like Dawn wants a prawn bow. Prawn being a really big shrimp. For those of you who uh, watch uh, Drake and Josh, this is an episode called Really Big Shrimp that, uh, and they mention the, the, the actual name of the type of shrimp, which is a prawn. We're gonna get... We've gotten uh, Jolly John tickets, budget unfortunately, not really the, not, doesn't really boost the uh, friendship uh, meters too much, but we're gonna give uh, Jenny and Bust either way. If it was a uh, luxury Jolly John tickets, I would be very happy with it. But uh, we can get a la leather raiment. Never heard of what a. Don't know what a ra raiment is. I got one MP candy only. I would still like to use up these. We still got 83 tickets remaining. I confident that we can either land in the, the yellow or the gray area. So, I'll give one to myself and Elysia. Alright, down to 82. Let's see. Let's let's try to get clothes. Alright, that way we don't I don't have to spend so much uh, in the way of money. We keep landing in the Jolly John tickets though. We're just giving them away. Anya and Amy now going on a trip together. Alright, that should be more like it. And that's gonna go to Dawn, and that will uh, raise her defense from 70 to 74. And that stat is gonna improve as we continue to get more equipment for her. But she wants a prawn bow, and let's see if she comes back with it. Okay, there we go, very good. And that will raise her attack 
71 to 77, and Magic from 59 to 62. We're going to go ahead and set out. So, let's get Anya in. Let's get Bust, Dawn, and Jenny. And whatever boss battle we have, we're going to have to, like... We're going to have to do this as a three-member team because if it's a because who knows this boss battle might uh, prove to be too much for Dawn being that this is a, a rather more difficult quest all right this is what we're going to do we're gonna have to Put Dawn into the safe zone, and then as far as Sprinkle goes, we're going to immediately go on the offense and defense. Uh, I could have saved that other shield for uh, something else, but we're going to try to have Dawn, uh, we're going to have to try, ha we're going to have Anya, Bust, and Jenny carry the entire battle. Let's see if we can do this. We're gonna have to be on sprinkles a lot too. Bust lost a lot of uh, of energy as well as uh, of HP as well as Jenny. Okay. Man. All right, we're gonna. Revive. Sprinkle Anya up. Three oh two and one ninety three. All right. Tower of Flame! First assist! Last wish! Bust, don't lose! Not losing here! Oh my gosh! Okay. Alright, Sprinkles. He's almost defeated.
Okay, 260 experience, uh, 260 sprinkles left. Oh man. I was on the edge of my seat just filming this. All right, I, I know you can't see me on camera, but man, I mean, like, you're you're talking about a big reward at the end, at least thirty-three thousand three hundred and twenty experience points. Dawn gaining two levels. Genevieve gaining a level. Bust gaining a level as well. More bonus experience points. Forty-nine thousand nine hundred and eighty, which we can give to Dawn. Again, I know it's not wise to have her do nothing, but this is what you gotta do when you change a job all of a sudden. Learn Forest Aegis. Place a barrier in front of a friend to reduce all kinds of damage. And we also get some very rare Snake Minier. Rare fluffy marshmallows, two of them, and uh, 1,000 gold. Wow, you've beaten them, haven't you? Oh, thank goodness. Now we can get... Now we can all get some peace and quiet here. And 24,000 gold. Huge. Huge gains. Now up to 185,300 something. Alright. Level 22 between me and Elysia. Learned Pincer 2. And then we've got level 19 between Bust and Jenny. Learned Avenge 2. And now level 15 between Anya and Amy. Alright, taking a look at this roulette wheel. What, we, what can we win? Alright. It's the same wheel that we just saw in the previous inn, but now the Jolly John tickets are fancy, we can get some fragrant tea and a B raiment for clothes, which I would assume would be for Dawn. got this on the first go around and that will raise her defense from 81 to 85 and now we could feed the party some grub very rare snake menier summer veggies are a perfect complement to a menier for magic and HP Kristen, what does she think of this? Oh, oh well. Okay, so a couple of puppet peppers here. Rare puppet pepper for magic and speed for Elysia. Oh! Isaiah, you gotta like this. Oh, come on. Or at least plus 21 on speed. And then three Puppet Peppers. Let's give one to Chan Chan. Oh! Man, nobody... Look at... Look at, look at how, every, how much... How everybody just absolutely hates it. Amy. Let's see what she thinks. Yes! Oh my goodness. You 
are going, you young lady, are going to get all the puppet peppers. And maybe Dawn, if she likes it as well. Okay, maybe not. Alright, some fragrant tea for Anya. And that'll raise MP and magic. And I love the alien gummy candy, so I'm gonna give myself one. What does Bust think of Mummy Jerky? Okay, yeah, very good. Now plus 31 on HP. And is that everybody that I've fed? Nope, I have not fed Jenny yet. Rare Fluffy Marshmallows. All right. Oh, she loves it. I'll even give her some regular fluff fluffy marshmallows. Alright, that puts us down to 20 pieces of grub. Okay, so back to the Traveler's Hub we go. And we got some errands. Level 41 quest, level 41, a quiz master, and got no choice but to accept the level 41 quest. Studious Cat Honk, a delivery woman. Got a, penage for, a package for Penny in Greenhorn. Alright, we can get three game tickets out of this. A bead. One measly bead. Okay. Penny is very pleased. Another quest done. So a starry-eyed mage, ninja. This this can't be happening. It's my friend Deku. He's been abducted. I'm going mad with worry. I have to go and save him. But could I really go it alone? Hey, I know. You can come with me. Alright, a blue moon frying pan. Now, where is this going to take place? A monster took him away. It came from Peculia. We have to hurry. Alright, so another temp a temporary dungeon in Peculia, but it's not the one by the Manor Macabre. This is one that is totally within the main, uh, the main land right here. The meadow, the plains, whatever you want to call it, of Peculia. For such a jolly area, it was filled with bright colors and weird and wacky stuff. We're hearing the music of uh, of the dungeon. A little unfitting for this for kind of place like this, but I guess any type of dungeon, whether it be Peculia or Seaside Grotto, it's gonna have the same music. So 
we're going to stop it right there. And uh, that'll this temporary dungeon will be the premise for tomorrow's episode and subsequently uh, either uh, Thursdays and perhaps even Friday's episodes. So a lot of excitement continuing as we continue to get stronger. Uh, so tune in tomorrow for a brand new episode of Metopia Daytime, 3.30pm Eastern Standard Time on Game Boy TV.